Breaking news, the Nationals have added more players this offseason, and this time, help is coming to the pitching staff. The Nats signed right-handed pitcher Trevor Williams to a two-year, $13 million contract and drafted right-handed pitcher Thad Ward in the Rule 5 draft. For those who may not know, the Rule 5 draft is a special player selection that happens during the offseason. Players eligible for the draft are minor league players not on a team's 40-man roster that have at least four to five years of service time depending on what age they signed. The worst team from the previous season gets the first pick. Take a wild guess at who that was. The Nationals selected Thad Ward from the Boston Red Sox farm system, and most major outlets now rank Ward as a number 13 to 20 prospect in the Nationals farm system. It was pretty obvious they would be selecting a pitcher after signing Candelario, and Ward should serve as a long reliever and potential spot starter. He features a two-seam sinker in the low to mid-90s and a wicked slider to play off the heater. This is the money pitch, y'all. He also throws a changeup to keep hitters guessing, and that pitch continuing to improve will have a lot to do with Ward being a future starter or reliever. Now I know what you're thinking, how was this guy with this stuff allowed to get sniped by another organization? Well, he had TJ. It's like this disease pitchers get if they don't pray to this Tommy John guy every night. He recovered from that injury and went on to post solid numbers in about 50 innings last year. Overall, I'd grade this pick four bald heads out of five. Trevor Williams was signed by the Nats after previously pitching for the Mets last season. He picked up some huge innings for that team last year when the other starters went on the IL because of old age. In a somewhat chaotic operation, he managed a 3.21 ERA across nearly 90 innings of work. And that's because he's a guy who does whatever is asked of him. Last season, Williams was able to seamlessly transition from a starter to a reliever whenever the team needed him to. Right now, he'll be slotted in as a starter for Washington, but his versatility is important when shit happens, and in baseball, shit happens every day. He's got the ability to go upwards of 150 plus innings, which would be great, but that would obviously only happen if he ends up being a starter all season. He's also not a guy who can go through the lineup three times too often. He'll go four to six solid innings in a start, and that's okay. So he could start all year, but I really think that doesn't utilize his skills to their best ability. Williams excels in short spurts where he can be most effective, so keeping him in a hybrid role could actually serve the Nationals really well. Start him one day, let him go three to four innings, and then hand the ball to a guy like Corey Abbott, or even the previously mentioned Thad Ward for two to three innings. Then he could pitch two innings out of the pen a few days later, then start again on the next rotation. I don't know, I'm just thinking out loud, but there's plenty of possibilities which makes this signing four bald heads out of five as well. Good job, Rizzo. Now bring back the eraser.